You can take that out, clean it, make sure that rubber vent's not all dried out. Anyways, might help somebody if you don't have the parts around like I do. Now I want to point out a real common problem with these Echoes and the Steels is the fuel vent. They're designed a little different. Look how dirty that one is. I'm going to pop this off. What, what happens is... There, I cleaned it off a little bit on the top, but that doesn't mean it's open and free. What happens is this builds pressure in the tank to feed the carburetor. It pulls air in, but it won't let air out. And these things clog up. Anyways, you can pop these tops off. They just snap on. Or you can get a new one, but if you don't have a new one and your machine's not running, and what this will do, if it's not pulling air, it'll choke the machine out. Well, I couldn't get that adjusted right, as you could hear. And so I'm going to go ahead and pull this off. And even though I can pull air through it, I do see some dirt in there. And maybe that's restricting it a little bit. So let's try that without that and uh, see if that allows us to get it running nice. So I definitely need to clean that or change that. Let's take it over to the workbench. Take a look at it. Here it is. They give you a little hose clamp with it. But you can pop these tops off and clean this. Now I'm going to go ahead and blow through it, and I shouldn't be able to blow through it, and then I'm going to suck on it, and I should be able to suck on it. I can't blow on it. And I can suck on it. And on the stills, they've got a bunch of little holes, like pinholes, in the top. And it, it's just a, a vent that snaps into the top of the tank. And those little pinholes can clog up, especially if it's greasy like this. And then the machine will start, and it'll run, and then it'll cough out. Here's some new ones I have. And if you just get the vent, it's like six bucks. Or <laughs> I ordered this for an, uh, I don't know, an echo blower, I guess. And it came with all the fuel lines and a grommet and everything. Let me see if I can pop one of these off. There we go. I'll just change it out. Yeah, this one. I can suck air through it a lot easier than the other one. That one's a lot more restricted. There, I got it off. 
And this fuel lines or this vent lines fine. There. Very good. Nice easy free flow. I don't know if this is necessary to have on here, but I'll throw it back on. Wouldn't surprise me at all if this was a problem. You saw how dirty it was. And it's always good to clean the carburetor. But you can pop these tops off. Now I didn't squeeze with this pliers. I just held it as like a loop over this and to pop the top off. And there you go. And there's the little one-way valve in there. And you can just pop that out, clean it up. See that? That's actually a little filter. You can clean that. You can take a little piece of wire or whatever, stick it in here, and you can pull this rubber vent out, and you can see it comes to a point there and if you squeeze it, you can open it, and otherwise it's shut. And that's what keeps you from being able to push air this way, but it'll suck air this way. So you can take that out, clean it, make sure that rubber vent's not all dried out. Push that back in, it just snaps in. Clean this little foam sponge with uh, soapy water, put that back in, put your cap on, and you can go ahead and use it again. Anyways, might help somebody if you don't have the parts around like I do. Let's go put it on. Before we go too much further, let's go ahead and check the fuel filter. These hemostats come in handy so much working on small equipment like this. Now these fuel filters, you can also clean if you're in the middle of a project and don't have a new filter. And what I do is first take some carb spray and just spray it through here. And then you can pop this clip off. There's a little screen in there little filter. Then I take compressed air. Slide that back in place. And you got a working fuel filter. Now of course it's best to go ahead and change it. I've got a new one here. But that'll get you by in a pinch. Alrighty. We'll slide this back in the tank. There we go. This is pushing fuel. This is pulling fuel. So we'll hook this up. Alright. And we'll go ahead and throw the new filter on. And drop that in the tank. Beautiful. We'll prime it. There, we're pulling. And now, the big test. Switch on. Choke on, maybe we don't need the choke. didn't fix our throttle problem this time, but I wanted to post this video so that you could see you can clean your fuel vent and filter, saving you a trip to the store or waiting on an order. If you would like to see a video where cleaning the vent did fix a throttle problem, you can click on that at the end of the video. It's called Trimmer Only Runs on Choke, and I hope this video was a help to you. If it was, give her a thumbs up. 
If you haven't already, please consider subscribing. And I look forward to helping you with other projects online.